arguably the most important part of the journey to becoming a Microsoft 365 Copilot Power user who benefits the most for its productivity boosting capabilities is to just get into the habit of using it. However, with all the product changes and updates and a brand new interface just rolling out in the last few weeks, what tools and techniques should you use to maximize that habit? In this video, I'm going to share three important tips for using Copilot that will help you get the most out of the key usage paradigms in the chat interface, hopefully enabling you to amplify the value of engaging with Copilot and to establish your Copilot habit without frustration or friction so you can quickly become a Microsoft 365 Copilot power user. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Nick. I help smaller businesses achieve more using AI and I specialize in Microsoft 365 Copilot and the AI tools that are part of Microsoft's platform. If what you see in this video is useful to you, it would be great if you could give it a like, drop a comment below letting me know what helped you the most, and consider subscribing so you can see more like this in the future. And if you need more direct help with your organization's Copilot adoption or other AI project, consider reaching out to learn how I can help. Information on this is down in the description. First, I want to talk about prompts. Effective prompting can be a really important part of getting started with Copilot. Although arguably the conversational powers of newer models are quickly reducing the primacy of this skill. Still, you have probably seen some version of this slide focusing in on the important parts of a prompt. Your goal, context, source and expectations. But once you've created a useful prompt, what do you do with it? Well, Microsoft 365 Copilot now has prompt management built right in. Once you've found a prompt that delivers a useful output that you may need to repeat, you can simply save that prompt. To do so, hover over the successful prompt and select Save Prompt. This will save it to the prompt gallery. There are a number of ways to access these saved prompts. Let's start with the simplest. You can click on See More and Prompt Gallery from a new chat view in the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. Or, if you've already started a chat, you can just use the Prompt Gallery shortcut. Once you're in the Prompt Gallery, you'll find this under Your Prompts. Usefully here, you can also share your prompt, either by getting a link to it or by sharing to a team. If you share to a team, you can also get groups of team prompts. So imagine you're in a customer service team and you just created the most amazing prompt for drafting follow-ups on customer complaints. You can save that prompt share it to your customer service team, and anyone in that team could then use it from the prompt gallery. When using the prompt, you just click on it and it will drop back into your chat. Just bear in mind that whereas for Microsoft curated prompts you might see in prompt gallery, these prompts might include variable fields for items like a file that show you a context IQ dialog when you use them. The same doesn't apply to your own created prompts. This is a feature that hopefully Microsoft will add as it would make prompt saving a lot more flexible. But at least now you won't have to keep recording your prompts outside of Copilot, or worse yet, just lose the good ones and have to spend time working them out again. Your good, effective prompts should be assets that help you to succeed on an ongoing basis. Just as in the past, writing down a set of process instructions for a team member wouldn't be ephemeral, but something you could come back to and reuse for added benefit each time that process needed to be done. Next, let's talk about agents and conversation flow. A killer prompt is great, but the real power of Copilot, particularly in the age of agents, is to do with the whole chat, not just a single amazing prompt that gives you back everything you need. You can think of great prompts as those locked in process steps, whereas great AI conversations are the things that help you ideate, iterate, and improve your work over time. Both are valuable, but the balance will be different depending on the focus of your work. On first inspection, it appears the way to use agents in Copilot chat is to simply select them on the left bar and then chat in context of that agent. You do your work, but when you switch agents to another selection, you start with a new chat with that second agent. This could be really useful, but what if you need the capabilities of two different agents in the same chat? You can end up with lots of copying and pasting as the human user. But actually, there's a much easier approach. From the Copilot chat interface, you can interface with any agent in a back and forth conversation without jumping between chats. 
here in an existing chat, I can at mention an agent and change my prompting context to that agent, but without switching out of my existing chat. The agent I'm chatting with now has access to my chat context so far, and I can use the special capabilities of this agent to advance that dialogue. And once I've done with what my agent is able to do for me, I can just use the X next to its name in the prompt box to switch back to chatting with Copilot. My entire chat context is maintained in one conversation flow. I can even chain multiple agents together by using this technique in different places in a chat. You can see here I've jumped into Visual Creator and I can write a prompt where this agent now has full context of what I was chatting about. So without being specific, it knows I need an image for Project Breadcrumb. This technique works best with declarative agents because Microsoft 365 Copilot handles the full conversation flow and orchestration. Great prompts are fantastic, but great conversations are the real power of newer AI models. And with agent chaining in your chat, you can keep that conversation going with all the capabilities and data access you need. This enables you to get better results and also makes it easier to organize your chats into useful conversations you can come back to later. Next, let's look at where you probably are going to store those great conversations, Copilot Pages. A Copilot page is a loop page you can invoke from any Copilot or agent response. You wait until your response is finished, click on the Pages icon, and select either to add the response to a new page or an existing page. On that page, you can edit the content, add more responses, or even invite others to participate with you. But if you're used to other platforms like Canvas in ChatGPT or Artifacts in Claude, you might be missing one crucial capability for a feature like this. Here you can see ChatGPT editing the content on my Canvas based on my continued prompting in the single Canvas-powered conversation. But back in Copilot, I cannot prompt changes to my Copilot page. I also cannot access the Copilot-powered capabilities I would normally see in Loop to edit the page's content. But there is a simple way to get around this limitation. If I jump directly over to Loop, my Copilot page is right there as a Loop page. But you can immediately see with some different capabilities. If I select text, I can use Copilot to rewrite or adapt and I can add new sections with Copilot. And if I make an edit to a section with Copilot in Loop, you can see that the edit appears directly back in my page shown in the Copilot interface, just as if some other user made an edit. Why Copilot integration into pages doesn't work directly from Copilot chat is a mystery. In a sea of inexplicable product decisions, this stacks up as one of the weirdest, particularly given the very different and useful functionality in a product like ChatGPT. But even though this is a bit of a workaround, you can see it is easy to continue using all of Copilot's tools in the context of a single Copilot page. What's your most useful Microsoft 365 Copilot tip? Let us know down in the comments. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. If you're not a new user of Copilot, but you know people who are, consider sharing this video. And if you're working in an organization where Copilot is just rolling out and your business is looking for adoption help, consider checking out my Microsoft 365 Copilot adoption services. A link is down in the description. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.